Good evening, good afternoon, good morning. Jan Roberts, I'm back, uh, still in uh, South Africa, and we're now, uh, it's Friday, number 25 of the self-care series already, How Time Flies. And today I want to talk into reducing stress. Now today especially because, yes, we've made it to the end of the week again, some a little frayed around the edges, S some still thinking about all the work that needs to be done over the weekend, and some as if they've just run a double marathon in a desert and crawling over the finishing line, knowing that they have to do it all over again in just a couple of days. Now, when we add that kind of stress and feeling to the uncertainty of the, the, the current situation, you know, job losses in the millions, disagreements and arguments which are splitting families, and um, even long-term friends are, are not speaking to us at the moment, and all the negative emotions experiences by the, by the young and all the like, and we have a huge swirling melting pot of stress, of people ready to explode, explode ready to collapse, even have some serious ail ailments and death. I mean, I don't even know what the figure is at the moment, but the, the stress is a killer. So did you, did you know, as my, my friend and mentor Les Brown says, oh, we've got thunder and lightning, that humans are the only species to have a, an increase in a specific disease at a certain time of the week. I mean, how crazy is that? And then he carries on, he says, between 8 and 9 a.m. on Monday mornings, there is a 38% increase in strokes, heart attack and death. Now, that is of course caused by stress, the stress of sitting in traffic for hours, the stress of having to go to a job you do not like, which is sadly a large percentage of the, the working population. There are many other reasons, but many people also cut their own weekends short as they already start thinking about having to go to, back to work and that job those people, and they start thinking about it on a Sunday afternoon, and, and they think the weekend's over. Now, the weekend's not over until Monday morning, but that's what happens. People are literally dying to go to work, and as, as Les Brown said, some of you should not go to work on Monday morning. But how sad is that really? Stress kills, but the good thing is that you can reduce your stress in simple but effective ways. And the time to start is not next week. I mean, we're, we're, we've just been stressed out all week. Or I'm not saying we. I mean, many of you have just been stressed out all week. I actually love what I do. But stressed out all week. We're even stressing in the weekends. And it keeps building and building. And then we wonder why we're not feeling well. Why we can't sleep well. Why all these other kind of things that make us not well. I mean, if self-care... Is if there's one area in self-care that we really need to take uh, into serious consideration is how to, ha to live a less stressful life. And I know you can say, well, that's easy for you to say, uh, well, that's easy for anybody to say, but we all need to practice that. And there's actually many ways to begin reducing your stress, and some of them only take a, a few moments. And I'll give you a few examples. Watch the sunrise, or a sunset set indeed. Hug somebody. Now, I know I, I've talked about hugging and it's a, a contentious uh, subject altogether, but hug somebody. Um, play with your pet. Take a walk in the rain. We've always heard about dancing in the rain. Well, even that if you like. Take a, a hot bath. Talk to a friend. Eat some chocolate, not all of it. Eat some chocolate. Laugh out loud. The, you know, the list is endless, but how long would these kind of things take? But they all help. It's known that these things are all helping to release and relieve the stresses we're under. And you, you just need to see which one you can do right now and then actually do it. And also make a note of the, any other activities that you can incorporate in your daily life from now on. Th th those kind of things that, that, that really f make you feel more relaxed. I talk about it in me time and all the kind of things and talk into such as, you know, meditation first thing in the morning for maybe 15 to 30 minutes. And you say, but I've got no time. And you're already stressed out. Get up 15 to 30 minutes earlier. It is so worthwhile. And I'm, okay, now you say, Abbe, hey, hold on a minute. You talked a few sessions ago, you talked about having enough sleep. Okay, you can still have enough sleep. Instead of, you need six to eight hours good sleep and quality sleep, as I said in that se session. But if you have seven hours, seven and a half hours instead of seven hours and 45 minutes, and that 
15 minutes you do meditation or something that calms you down already, something that sets you up positively for the day, how much better will you feel? And you can, you can do some things like listen to something positive. L listen to comedy first thing in the morning. Don't switch on the news uh, when you're still lying in the bed and, or, or grab the newspaper first thing because it comes to your letterbox. If that still happens, I don't know because I haven't bought one for more than 30 years. But don't you get involved in the negative circumstances of everything around you first thing in the morning. So even, it doesn't have to be meditation, but... Read something positive, listen to something positive, have a positive conversation and that already will help you alleviate the stress because it sets you up much more positively for the entire day. And you do the same at the end of the day. Now, another thing is, well, driving to work, there are also plenty of opportunities. You know, becoming more aware of your body, you know, the way you grab your steering wheel and how you react to the stupidity of other drivers. And do you get frustrated when other drivers drive too slow in front of you? When the reality often is, is... You should not be frustrated with them. You should be frustrated because you, you left home too late because you had so many other things to do, the kids and everything else, and you left home too late. Now you get frustrated with other people because they drive too slow. Practicing slow breathing while driving. You know, I've talked about this as well. Breathe in through the nose, into your stomach, and out through the mouth. Practice that. And, and that's all the kind of things you can do before you even get to work. Now... For specific suggestions on how to lower stress while at work, you can try another technique that some people actually deal with, do to deal with their stress. And that is that, first of all, try to understand and address the causes and, 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 and the factors that actually cause you all this stress. And one way to do that is stress journaling. Now, there are simple steps for this stress journaling which will help you to recognize and, and work through your situation. And there's plenty of information that you, you, you just need to type in stress journaling, uh, 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 stress journaling and you find it. But it, it, it helps you to recognize what, what causes you stress and, and learn to deal with these areas and maybe even stay away from these, some of these areas. But once you start journaling that, the same as you do gratitude journaling and, and, and all kinds of other journaling that you can do, but it's really helpful if you are in a stressful environment. Because once you become aware of it, there are certain things you can do that you don't need to be in it all the time. Even take yourself out every hour for a few minutes and, and just have some me time. Just breathing slowly. Just get away from it all. Simple things. Yes, stress is a killer. But you don't have to become one of its sad statistics. But... It is time to start taking better care of yourself today. So, hopefully, you will have a stress-free stress weekend. Enjoy the full weekend, which finishes on Monday morning, by the way. And I will see you with another session on Monday. Take care of yourself. You owe it to yourself. You need it. You deserve it. I'll see you soon.